Hi guys, welcome to Chris Mack and in today's video we'll be doing a ownership review of my 2021 Hyundai Veloster N which I've owned for about six months. So looking around the Veloster N, so you have the headlights, that's probably one of my first complaints with this car because you see the high beams and the turn signals are incandescent bulbs and everything else is LED. I would have liked to have seen full LED headlights and tail lights, but I mean, you could switch out the bulbs and I could do a DUI video of that. I do like the red trim. Now, the tires are a big talking point of the Veloster N. They're good for handling, but as far as wheel spin goes and control and everything, it's really not that effective. And since these are summer tires, as a short shelf life. So I'm probably considering switching those out with maybe some Michelin all season, the PS4s, something like that. Just love that red trim with the red, red brake calibers and the red line that goes across the entire vehicle. Even the rear brakes are red. Now let's talk about the design a little bit because I know it's kind of a quirky thing. You have this single door on this side. Here, let me walk on this side and show you guys. Yeah, the front is very aggressive, like that grill. That nice aluminum trim and the red. The black just really complements everything. And you can see on this side, so you have the regular door right here. And then the other one is integrated into the pillar right here, which I think is pretty cool. Definitely makes this car a little bit different and unique than everything else on the road. The back, you can see slopes down, very aggressive. I like how they integrate the hatch in the back. So you got 19 cubic feet of space. And then the red trim continues. And aggressive exhaust. I'll insert an exhaust clip right here. It has a very aggressive exhaust note. You can see your fuel tank, keyless entry for both front and door handles, see on the interior, manual seats. I do like the light up end right here at nighttime. It just really pops with the interior. You just see it lighting up, you're like, man, the interior is nice. I would like to see maybe some sort of like ambient lighting or something on the inside to kind of make it a little bit more cool. I'm starting up the Veloster. Push button start, of course. The vehicle comes to life. One complaint I would like to add to this vehicle is the screen for the lag. So I have it safe for in custom mode and the changes you see how long it takes to get to the main screen. The lag is just a little bit bad. Small improvement they can make to update the software and maybe add the bigger 10.25 inch screen but other than that everything is pretty easy and it's laid out so you got your climate controls everything is really like driver focused and see down here i like in manual mode that it doesn't auto upshift for you and you got traction and a real handbrake very old school to me then on this side, you have the blind spot and your lane keeping assist, and along with steering assist for lane keeping assist. And you can see your gauge cluster right here, very driver focused, speed, miles per gallon, you got heading, and then I definitely like the turbo, oil temp, and torque gauge, pretty cool, as well as the G meter. Maybe if I track this vehicle, I'll try out the lap timer but very intuitive. 
I would have liked to see maybe the digital, the full digital gauge cluster that's in the Kona end line. But small, these are small gripes. Still awesome vehicle, and I like the lights, the shift lights up there. You got these nice paddle shifters. And you can see on the steering wheel, everything is very driver focused. So you have your drive modes on this side, there's three of them. So you got normal, sport, and economy. And then on this side, you got full end, which is like the track mode, as well as in custom, which you can customize in a central screen. So the end grand shift mode right here increases pound foot of torque to 278 pound foot for 20 seconds and the downside is it takes about three minutes for it to fully recharge before you can use it again so i would see them like to improve that yeah other than that it's a pretty nice vehicle overall you got led map lighting and sunglass holder here, I'll show you guys around the back. Now, surprisingly, so I'm around five foot six, so I have pretty good room, pretty good leg room. Headroom is not bad. They could definitely improve the headroom a little bit, but other than that, for the design and the look of the vehicle, it's pretty good. So yeah, guys, that's gonna conclude my pros and cons review of my 2021 Hyundai Veloster N. Please be sure to like, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.